Our aerial reconnaissance of California's Great Central Valley begins in the south with a flight northward over the valley's axis at approximately 15,000 miles per hour. The valley is commonly divided into three parts, the southernmost of which, and by far the largest, is the San Joaquin Valley. Fresno approaches on our right. The Sierra Nevada is situated on the right and the California's Central Coast Range is on the left. As we approach Stockton, we enter the third subsection of the valley known as the Sacramento-San Joaquin Delta. Sacramento is on the right and we have entered the Sacramento Valley. Directly ahead of us are the Sutter Buttes. One of the characteristic cultural elements of the Central Valley's landscape are the rectilinear field patterns defined by the Federal Land Office's Township and Range System. At Red Bluff, the river passes into Iron Canyon and then into the Anderson Valley where Redding is located. North of Redding is Shasta Lake and Mount Shasta. Our second flight line follows the western edge of the valley, looking generally to the east. Bakersfield may be seen near the center of the screen as we descend over the now reclaimed bed of Kern Lake. The large fields near the center indicate the former extent of Tulare Lake, also now reclaimed. The Cattleman Hills are to the right, and in the distance is Fresno. San Luis Reservoir passes near the bottom of the panorama and Lake Tahoe may be seen in the far distance. We now pass over the junction of the San Joaquin and Sacramento Rivers. Fairfield passes near the bottom of the image as now does Lake Berryessa. Stony Gorge Reservoir and Black Butte Lake Pass. As we now increase our elevation and turn towards the southeast, Lake Shasta and Whiskey Town Reservoir glide past. In the far distance, in the center of the valley, we can see the Sutter Buttes. Our third flight will take us again from the south, but this time we will follow the eastern edge of the valley looking west. Bakersfield is in the center of the view. Lake Success and Porterville pass beneath us. And then Lake Kawia. Next, Pine Flat. In the distance, we can see Fresno. Millerton Lake on the San Joaquin River. 
Hensley Lake, Eastman Lake, Lake McClure on the Merced River, and then Don Pedro Reservoir on the Tuolumne, followed by New Malonis and Tulloch Reservoirs on the Stanislaus River. The Mequalamy River with Pardee Reservoir and Comanche Reservoir. Approaching Sacramento and the American River, the mighty Folsom Dam, behind which is Folsom Lake. Camp Far West Reservoir on the Bear River. The airstrips at Beale Air Force Base and the Sutter Buttes in the distance. Lake Oroville on the Feather River. As we approach Red Bluff, the valley narrows until the river flows through a series of great meanders in Iron Canyon. The Anderson Valley, the northern end of which is Redding, Again, we will gain altitude as we look to the south. Lake Shasta appears at the bottom of the view. Whiskey Town Reservoir to the right of it. Our fourth flight segment carries us in a clockwise route around the delta. At the bottom of the view is Mount Diablo and the urban area of Walnut Creek and Concord. We cross the San Francisco Bay Estuary at Carquina Straits looking at Susun Bay. The mothballed merchant ships may be seen lined up along the north shore. Fairfield, Susun, and Vacaville pass. In the distance may be seen the sheet of water that ponds at the south end of the Yolo Bypass, one of the great floodways of the Sacramento Valley. Now we pass Davis and cross the Sacramento River at Sacramento, looking south along the Ship Canal. As we turn, we can see the entire San Francisco Bay Estuary. Lodi passes at the lower left, Stockton also, as we look directly west into the Delta. The lands here are protected from flood by dikes. In the past, some of these have failed. The largest such failure was Frank's Track, which appears in the central section of the view. Once flooded, it was never reclaimed. Clifton Court 4 Bay appears at the bottom of the image. It leads to the California Aqueduct. <laughs> 